Hi, I'm back again to make another video. Um, I'm, I just watched a video by, what's her name? Nikki LaRose, and she did like a fresh faced summer makeup tutorial. And I just wanted to copy what she did using my own makeup. So I'm just getting like my cotton, what are these? cotton rounds and I'm going to clean my face with um, the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This one has vitamin C in it. So I'm just going to like clean I don't like how the powder I've been using, um, I don't like the way it looks on me, so I'm going to be using a different powder. It was, the one that I was using was, um, I'll show you, this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. It doesn't look fresh on me, <laughs> so it's a it's, um, I think it looks cakey, so I'm just not going to use that one. And, um, it's like, um, yeah, so I'm going to put on lotion first. I, I never remember if you're supposed to put lotion first and then sunscreen or how it works but I'm going to use the Holy Hydration um, Daily Moisturizer by e.l.f. I really like this one And then put sunscreen on. So I've been using the Neutrogena Age Shield Face Oil Free Sunscreen with SPF 70. It doesn't leave a white cast. I don't see it. So I like that. And she put concealer on her eyelids. And I don't remember which one she used, but it it did a really good job concealing. Um, let's see. Need to find one. one. I don't know how good it will do, but it's 
like more of a brightening one. one that would cover like any kind of veining you know I think it works okay and then she used a tiny bit of powder to set the eyes so I like the um, the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm running out of it though. That's why I got, um, the L'Oreal one. But I'm just not liking it. And I think it's because it's a foundation powder. It's like got too much coverage. It makes my face look like little spots on it and it doesn't look good so next I'm going to do foundation I use the Revlon Longwear Makeup for Combination Oily Skin so I hope it's not the foundation that's making my skin look that way. I don't know what the the name of it is when it feels like spotty <laughs> or cakey kind of. I think it's the powder. But I like this foundation because it, I feel like it evens out the, you know, the color of my face. And I'm not sure how long wear how long wearing it is. I need to clean off the back of my hand just using tissues. I don't use a lot of foundation. And then um, she used a max strobe, which is just a really natural looking glow on her cheeks and forehead. And um, I don't have anything. I mean, I have like the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, but I don't think I want to put this on because it's my face is just going to be like sweaty. <laughs> um, so I don't need to add any kind of glowing thing into it. Um, and she put concealer on the blemishes and under her eyes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Maybe I do it under my eyes. Um, she put like a cream bronzer on, um, there it is, the Maybelline eraser. Um, it's the same thing, but it's just, a. Darker shade. 
This is in the number, this is 147.5. So I'm going to put that on the forehead, the sides of the nose, upper, under the lip, and on the cheeks. I think I'm going to blend it as I go so it doesn't dry. I don't know how long it'll stay on, you know? She didn't really contour, she did it just like where the sun would hit. But she did look like she contoured the nose. Um, but later she put bronzer on like all over the nose, not just on the sides. Like that. Um, then she did pinpoint highlighting. She has, like, olive skin tone, like, darker than, like, a darker skin tone than me, so she could highlight areas, but mine is so light that like, I don't have a lighter highlighter, um, so I'm going to skip that part. And she used a bright pink, like she said, bright pink or a coral blush, and I'm going to use the one that I have used in my other videos the Milani Coral Cove. I just like this one in the summertime. I think it looks good on me. And she put lots of it on. I'm just going to put, um, I'm not putting on a lot of it, just, you know, just as much as I feel comfortable. And she put powder under the eyes. So I'm going to use that Maybelline Fit Me Again under the eyes. And I don't remember if I put it on the other parts of my face. <laughs> I don't remember. And then she put bronzer, like a bronzer powder, on her forehead, nose, sides of face, and the crease of the eye and the lower lash line. Did she like the way it looked um, on the nose? Just all over the nose. And I think that looks really summery. It looks better than just my plain white face. Looks better with bronzer and blush. She put faux freckles and I don't need to put any more freckles on my face. Um, oh and she, I forgot she put the bronzer on 
her um, the crease of her eyes. She didn't put on any eyeshadow. Just the bronzer and blush on the eyes. So it just matches the face really good. So that would be really great for traveling. You don't have to bring like all your eyeshadows with you. You can just bring your bronzer and blush. And then um, she put a blush highlight on the tops of the cheeks across the nose and the eyelid. Um, I have like this pixie palette that has like they, I think these are like blush highlights Duh. but um like I use this one um but I think I'm just gonna use it um it's really glittery I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. I'm not going to put it on my cheeks. Because I think it would be too, um, like glittery. I don't think it would look good on me. Maybe put um, the Milani, the coral on my eyelid too, so that the colors just all go together. It's really bright on my eyelid, like more than on my cheeks, so I'm not sure if that looks good. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. She also put it on her nose. And she used a brown liquid liner to make a wing. Uh, where is my brown liquid liner? This one. This is like older though, so I don't know. Um, this is the Jordana brown liquid liner. Just whatever liquid liner you have that's brown. 
Um, so I don't know if this will still work. But I'm just gonna... Like, make a flick and then connect it to the upper lash line like that. to match it on the other side. Try to be like close to the lashes as possible. Try not to blink. Which is what I kept doing. She put a setting spray on before mascara so I'm gonna use the Milani make it last original one and she had a really nice mascara she used that really curled her lashes. Mm. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and use my mascara. I use the waterproof L'Oreal Lash Paradise. That was like really long. It's either a really long eyelash or it's a hair stuck to my lashes. I think that looks pretty. Um, she used a corally pink lip liner. And I don't have the same lip liner as her, but I have this one. This is by NYX and it's called Life's a Beach. It's a bright color. I'm just gonna... line my lips and fill it in I'm waiting for somebody to text me
somebody from church invited me to her home. She, well, she said I could come over whenever I want to, but I feel like I should text her first. <laughs> And not just like barge over to her house. So that is a pretty color. And then um, put like a juicy lip gloss on top. So I'm going to use this, my favorite ones. My newest favorite lip glosses. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Peach Ring. It's just a pretty peach color. It smells good too. She used two, two, two different setting sprays, um, but I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is, so that's my finished look. I hope you like it, and I hope, I hope you're having a good summer or whatever season it is you're watching this. I'll talk to you later. Bye.